guys, it's Sonya Miller. Welcome back to my channel, Living the Creative Life. And today, you guessed it, we're gonna get creative again. Yesterday, if you joined me on my show, we were working on this door behind me, jazzing up the doorknob. If you've been following my vlog here the last few months, you guys know that we expanded to take over another part of the building, which actually is an apartment, but we're making use of it for our own. And by making use of it for our own, you can see, it definitely needs a lot of TLC, right? So I have been having fun doing little projects that I can do, because believe you, me. You can make your space beautiful through the power of paint. One of the things I want to do is I painted the doorknob yesterday here in the vlog. Go back and check that out. And today we're going to finish up the entire door. It's not going to be hard. It's going to be one of those quick flips because girl, I'm a low maintenance girl and that's what it's all about. Pretty basic plain Jane door, right? I did put a really quick coat of our vintage white chalky style paint. Sticks to pretty much anything under the sun real quick on here just to kind of like freshen it up, but it needs some extra TLC. What I'm going to do, believe it or not, is just glaze this door. This door, is ha this door has these inserts. It's going to be beautiful. So if you want a quick lesson on how to glaze or just an idea on how to make your door seem a whole lot more fancier, more classier, definitely more heavier and ornate, glaze over over paint is a great way to do it. So let's go ahead and take the effect that we did on the doorknob and like bring it all around the door. All right, so I told you the door was white. I just put a quick light coat of the vintage white all over it. That's gonna allow my glaze to be able to grab into it. I just bent over and picked up my stash of my brown glaze. I'm gonna use our Junk Monkey Brown Antiquing Glaze today. It's gonna match that doorknob. And let me just tell you, this door is gonna be gorgeous because it's got all those inlays. When you glaze, you wanna have your brush to apply your said glaze. And by the way, with our glazes, we do a black, a brown, a teal, and a white. So depending on the look that you're trying to get, you can pick whichever one you want to play with. And all the supplies, of course, that I use here in my vlogs, you can find at junkmonkeypaint.com. And yes, we ship all over the US and now into Canada. How exciting is that? When you glaze, don't forget your some water for your cheesecloth, said cheesecloth. Quick tip, you're gonna see me tackle this door in pieces because when you glaze, you're gonna wanna do one section at a time. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you real quick. I actually did four of the panels. Do you see them right there? Now we're gonna go in with our cheesecloth. We're gonna dampen it with a little bit of water. Oh, gosh, isn't this beautiful? All right, let's do those bottom ones down here. I'm gonna grab a new piece of cheesecloth as well. I'm gonna still hang on to the old piece. I'll show you a trick in just a second. Okay, so we've got the four panels done. So I can just go ahead and use this wet, soggy glaze rag to pull it around the rest of the way. Now remember, if I want to darken this door in any way, I could do that. For example, if I want the inlays to be darker, I can go over with a second layer of my glaze. Every time I do this, it's going to darken that area. So I went ahead and glazed the entire door. Guys, I also took that wet rag and I did around the edges as well. Just kind of like, you know, a little side view of the door. Now what I'm going to do, you can have fun just stressing this, doing whatever sort of look you want, how shabby you want to have it. I'm going to go ahead and grab my candy bar brown, which matches exactly my antiquing glaze, the brown glaze that I just used. And I got Kate behind the camera. We're going to say, hello, Kate. How are you doing today? Hello. Kate's uh, about to have some lunch, I think. I am. You are. So I nabbed her and I'm like, can you hold this camera for me real quick? We're doing some wing line eyeliner on this girl. Let's give her a little po, a little bit of antique as well. So now what I'm doing is basically just catch, allowing my brush to pick up, pick up on the edges. So if I really want to make that pop, this would be the perfect place to do this effect on. But now this is dry. What you did not see is the changeover in camera hands behind the scenes. Matt is now behind the camera. That is I. That is him. He went down, grabbed some lunch. What you guys have for lunch today? It's a perfect time to eat and now get back to work. I was just saying to him like, you know, you could have a plain white door smudged off 
all over with fingerprints, that sort of thing. Or you know what, you could just make it shabby, old, rustic, and nobody ain't gonna know the difference. It's gonna look like it's supposed to be that way. I'm gonna grab my banana peel. This is our clear coat. It dries clear. Now, you guessed it, we get to seal. At least two coats to give it some nice all over protection coverage. So when you put it on, you're gonna see that it's off-white. Use this as your guide to know what you have and have not polyed. But you're gonna to wanna to put it on in a nice light coat and then move on to a new area. You never wanna keep brushing over your poly or disturbing it once it starts to set up and dry. All right. All right guys, we are done. Thank you for hanging out with me here in the vlog today. We did another super simple flip. Maybe you have a door in your house that you just wanna give some new life to. Can we all just agree that this door definitely looks a little bit more you know, you know, hefty, heavy, definitely more meaty, you know what I'm saying? Other than that plain white look. So I am happy with it. I am calling it a wrap. I'm getting on with my day. I'm moving on to my very next project. Make sure you join me again tomorrow because I'm a daily vlogger and I'll be back with a whole new project. Leave me a comment below, give me a thumbs up. Will you do this with your door? Do you have ideas now? I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.